I think perhaps also from a more critical perspective, like in the social sciences, it's also becoming really clear that the politics of the future acts on the politics of the present. Meaning whose futures count, for example, who's allowed to imagine futures, who has the authority and influence to make statements, desirable and undesirable futures. I'm not an expert on looking into crystal balls. I think though that the methods of scholars and other professionals in future studies are quite different to fortune tellers. They draw on particular bodies of empirical data, they have predictive models and various forms of methodologies that are done through participatory workshops and also scientific peer review. I could imagine there would be a demand amongst students to want to study future studies and futures literacy as a professional skill. Um, so I, I'm sure it's only a question of time before universities in Thailand do start opening these types of programs. But probably my concluding remark on this would be that we shouldn't just think about future studies and futures literacy as being a field of study for experts, but rather we should see it as an essential skill for all university students. So rather than seeing it as an individual program, we should say, well, how can it be integrated into all different types of disciplines in university programs in Thailand? And not even for university students, I think this is a skill that everybody would benefit from. Unlock the science, encapsulating the scientific world with Jula Radio Plus.